Hello and welcome to the Anywhere Care training brought to you by Isalus Healthcare. Our team is excited to introduce to you Anywhere Care, an integrated telehealth module within Office EMR. This feature is a virtual platform in which providers can offer virtual office visits to their patients directly through the Office EMR software. In order for Anywhere Care to work, providers will need to ensure that they have downloaded and installed the Google Chrome browser to their computer. Additionally, patients will access the Anywhere Care visit from their mobile device, initiated through either a text message or email from their provider. Patients will then be prompted to download the Anywhere Care application from their respective app store on either their iOS or Android device. What makes Anywhere Care so great is that it's integrated directly into Office EMR. You've actually probably already noticed the Start Anywhere Care Visit button located within Office EMR's EMR. To begin using Anywhere Care, we will need to activate a setting within our user account. To initiate this setting, we're going to open up the user setup window by clicking on our name in the lower left-hand corner of the database. This opens up what's called the user setup window. It's important to note that only the person that's logged in will have access to initiating this setting for him or herself. From this window, ensure that your name is selected on the far left-hand side of the screen. Next, navigate to the toolbar at the top of the screen and locate the man wearing the white lab coat. This tool is called the Provider Connection Tool. Using the search box, search for the name of the rendering provider, and once identified, select the Save button at the top of the screen. Ensure that your name is displayed on the far left-hand side of the Provider Connection window. Once completed, Select the X in the upper right-hand corner and ensure that that setting has been saved. This setting only needs to be initiated one time. Once set up, you're ready to begin using Anywhere Care. So if we simply click on this button, it's going to allow us to initiate a new telehealth session with our patient. We're actually going to bring in the patient's phone number and their email if we have it available from the patient demographics stemming from Office EMR. We also have the ability to add in a custom phone number or a custom email if neither of those options are available to you from the demographics. Once we send the invitation, we're going to get this initiate telehealth visit screen. This tells us that the invitation has been sent to the patient and we can now join our conference or our session. This is going to load up our actual telehealth session. You'll see that currently we're waiting on the patient right here in our virtual room. In the upper left hand corner, you'll see that we've got an image of the provider. And when the button actually turns green, it's letting us know that the patient is in the virtual waiting room and is ready for us to be seen. So we'll simply click on the Start Visit button. Hi, Carly. <laughs> so what's so nice about telehealth is that you're actually getting more than just the audio interaction with the patient. The combination of audio and video really makes it feel like the patient is actually there with you. In the event that your patient is complaining about symptoms that you can actually see, for example, maybe Carly has a red eye or she has a runny nose or she has a rash or something like that, we can actually take a screenshot of the issue that she is complaining about and we can actually save this into the patient's e-documents into the EMR. We also have the option at any time to discard any images that may not be appropriate for the patient's chart. Anywhere Care is also integrated with the patient's location and Google Maps to provide nearby hospitals and emergency rooms, as well as pharmacies that we can share with the patient. So in the event that maybe we need to write Carly a prescription and we want to send it to the CVS pharmacy that's most uh, close to her, we can actually select that pharmacy's location and we can provide those instructions on how to get to that location to Carly. We're gonna send her a text message that has that information in it so she knows how to get to that CVS pharmacy. 
We also display information about the patient's mobile device as well as their application settings. So in the event that Carly can't hear me or maybe she's having an issue with seeing me or she's having something going on with her Anywhere Care application, the provider at any time has the ability to troubleshoot some of these uh, issues by going into the phone details window. Once the provider is finished with the call, they'll simply click on this end call button wave goodbye to their patient and thank them for coming in today by completing their telehealth session. So we have the ability to include any post-visit instructions to our patient here. So we'll go ahead and type a message over to Carly. And what this is gonna do is it's gonna send a text message over to Carly, which was that original method in which we initiated the telehealth session. And she's going to receive that information via a text message on her personal mobile device. Once we hit this complete button, that's what's going to finalize our visit and will allow us to close out of that additional window on our computer. We can now go back into Office EMR and we can access the information that is displayed to us within the EMR. What's really nice about the Anywhere Care application is that it's fully integrated into Office EMR, and we have the ability to review this information inside the patient's chart. For example, on the timeline, we can simply select on our telehealth um, module and allow us to review the session information um, from today's visit. Remember those screenshots that we took of Carly's eye? We can also access those in her e-documents within her chart. We can simply click on that module within the timeline, which is going to show us a screenshot of the image that we took within our telehealth session. So we can always come back to review those images. We also have the ability to generate a custom SOAP note that contains that telehealth session information. So if we navigate into the SOAP notes chart tab, you'll see that we have a custom telehealth visit note. So we can simply navigate into this chart tab, enter our four digit PIN number and save that note to the patient's chart available to us the next time we have a visit with that patient. Thank you for joining our Anywhere Care training today. On behalf of Isalis Healthcare, we appreciate your time and the opportunity to fulfill your telemedicine needs.